A lot can go wrong when filming presentations. There is no second take for a live event, and unless you anticipate the various issues that may arise, one error can make the entire recording useless. The most important part of our strategy when filming presentations is having a variety of backup options. First is our camera setup. We use at least two cameras to capture a variety of angles. Our typical setup is a wide shot featuring the entire stage and a close-up shot on the speaker. Another benefit of using multiple cameras is if there's a technical issue with one of them during the event, or if an audience member blocks one of the frames, we can cut to a different angle while editing. Additionally, our cameras record to two SD cards, so we have a backup recording if one of them fails. Many speakers accompany their talks with PowerPoint presentations. We record their PowerPoints to an external recorder. This gives us a high quality version of their slides when compared to filming the screen with our cameras. It also preserves the timing of their slides. This makes it easier to sync them to the cameras and audio for editing. If connecting our recording equipment isn't possible, we ask the presenter for the PowerPoint file so we can add the slides later during editing. This method still works great, but just takes longer because we have to manually sync the timing of the slides with the recorded presentation. For presentations under an hour, we can rely on the camera's internal battery to get us through a shoot. If we're filming presentations for any longer, for example, an all-day conference, we use wall power to ensure the cameras are rolling without having to worry about swapping batteries. If an outlet isn't available, large external batteries are also an option. They combine the duration of wall power with the mobility of in-camera batteries. Capturing audio can be a bit more complicated for presentations compared to filming interviews. If possible, we find it useful to scout a location before the event to test our audio equipment. Otherwise, we will do a sound check the day of the event. We make sure to arrive early so that we have enough time to address any audio problems that may arise. One way we ensure the audio is captured at the right volume is with our 32-bit float audio recorder. 32-bit float audio is a newer technology that makes it nearly impossible for the recording to be too quiet or too loud. It captures such a wide dynamic range in the recorded file that we can easily adjust the audio levels later while editing. Our mixer recorder also records the multiple storage devices in case one of them fails. If a venue has their own microphones, they typically have an audio outsource that we can plug directly into our mixer. The output varies, so we always bring a variety of cables to make sure we have the right one. We also bring audio splitters in case the venue doesn't have an output we can use. With the splitters, we can capture a direct feed from the microphones. If the venue doesn't have a sound system at all, we bring our own portable PA system and microphones. Even when a venue has its own sound system, we will put a lav mic on the speaker this additional microphone is only recorded to our equipment and isn't projected over the venue's sound system. Even if the venue's microphone is a lav, we still put ours on the speaker to have a redundant audio source. Multiple microphones ensure that even if something goes wrong with one of them, the audio is still captured. There are two approaches to editing presentations. The first is live editing, which means switching between camera angles in real time using a video switcher. To do this, we run HDMI cables from the cameras to the video switcher. We use fiber optic HDMI cables because they can cover a greater distance. We use floor cord covers and gaff tape to hold down the cables to create a safe production environment for attendees. We also connect our audio mixer to the video switcher. This synchronizes the speaker's audio with our camera's video. This camera switching method is pretty much our live streaming setup as well. If we edit the presentation later, we first synchronize the video and audio files in our editing software. Then we create a multi-cam sequence that allows us to switch between camera angles easily. If we didn't record the PowerPoint to an external recorder, we import the slides and time them to the presentation. Being adaptable to different venues and having a variety of backups is crucial when filming presentations. If you have any questions about our setup or want to share your own tips for these types of productions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.